A lot of songs tend to sort of exist in the, in the near future. I mean, a song like Everyday Robots is sort of science fiction where people don't really use their hands anymore. Kind of growing huge thumbs. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like that, but technology and melancholy are very powerful together. We are everyday robots on our phones In the process of getting home Looking like standing stones Out there on our own we're everyday robots in control In the process of being so Autumnal. Driving in adjacent cars I was really blown away by the nature of this building for someone who's quite sort of, not skeptical, but sort of fearful of, of the, the transition we're going through. This place explains a lot of stuff in the process. It's just so dedicated to the now, isn't it, and the future. It seems to be a sort of artistic kind of soul at the center of this place. It's a great museum. there's someone slightly different in the corner. <laughs> All I wanna be is washed out by the sea. No death star over me. When I was invited to sing to an android, it's not the thing you get asked every day. You have to get really close to not believe that there might be a person. I suppose it's just that complete sense of otherness, isn't it? For us to really engage with them, they have to look like us. They, they, you know, the more they look like us, the more sort of odd the whole experience becomes. But there's another one, there's a, a newscaster at the back of the hall, and the perspective that they've given you to you know, experience, it's just this small window. I loved as a kid those sort of Victorian um, peep shows that, you know, with, with the, the endless perspective and you, you know, the little theatres. The technological and sort of aesthetic and philosophic evolution from that child's perspective theatre to that is quite extraordinary. I love new technology. I mean, I love, well, I love coming to Japan. I mean, as a musician, first thing you do when you get here is just go to a music shop and buy the latest sort of gadget. <laughs> it's always been slightly a sort of a head in that, in that way. I'm lost. I'm lost. There's strange news from another star. As always, I fear it's terrifying and, and very inspiring, which is really how I feel about technology. I might write a song about singing to an android now. Each experience informs the next. And that's what this place is really about. It's really about that interaction between technology and humans. And so I think it's a natural place for me to come to. Would you love me though it's always the same? They say it's no game.